today I have for you a dirt cheap iron farm, costing very few resources if you look at the screen right now. This thing is very easy to build, it's very easy to capture the villagers in the way I have this designed. So the way this works is there's a zombie there and it'll make any iron golems try and kill it that are nearby. Any other zombies nearby it can try and kill first, but eventually it'll come here, it doesn't wander away. But as you just saw, it comes over here, it thinks the trap door is normal ground, so it tries to walk across it, but it isn't, so it falls in, dies, gets clicked by the hopper, and we have it in this chest. And that is this. So now to build it. You're going to want to build on flattish ground near a city. Start out by making this shape, oops, two blocks tall. This will be the holding cell for the villagers where she saw in the normal design. We're going to extend some of this even higher though by another two blocks because what we're going to do is turn this into a house by putting that door there, trap door here so they will just walk in and fall into their cell and we'll add a piece of dirt here so that they can get up. Once it becomes night, they'll just run in. Oh yeah, and make sure you break all the other doors in the nearby village. And there we go, sooner or later they'll all run in, hopefully before the zombies get them, try to make sure the zombies don't go off killing them. Alright, once you got enough in, you're going to want to try to get about 10 in here. If you don't, that's okay, we can breathe, have them breathe in there. Just go ahead and destroy all that temporary stuff there. And what we're going to do is try to set this up so we can catch a zombie. And do this just by adding this shape to every corner. What this will do is it'll allow you to funnel in the zombies into one of the four edges of this iron farm. So now when a zombie spawns, it'll funnel right in to that edge. What you need to do now is destroy these two blocks here. There we go. And then throw a pumpkin at it. And if it picks it up, then he's your man. If it doesn't, you're going to have to kill him and summon another. Or, I guess in this case, wait for another to just walk in. And there we go. We've got ourselves a zombie. Now just take away this extra scaffolding again. And we're going to start on the next step. The purpose of the pumpkin on the zombie's head is to keep it from despawning and so that it doesn't burn in the daylight. And unlike helmets, that thing will never break. Now we're going to add the doors. So go ahead and add five doors here at the front face. And then we're going to extend this down to the zombie over there. And then four more doors past the zombie. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Now we're going to also break out these two blocks so the iron golems can't spawn over here and kill the zombie here. Now let's make the killing chamber for the iron golems. We just need to punch out these six blocks and do this three blocks deep. This is where the iron golems fall at. We're going to need to add a lava source right here, so add three signs to hold it up. And then water right there. We're also going to want to click the loot, so let's add a chest down here with a hopper, like that. You can set this up any way you want, but for now, to access the chest, I'm just going to punch out these blocks. And there you go. And then lastly, the trap door to trick the iron golem to think that I can actually walk across this. Also note that if you have less than 10 villagers in there, you're going to need them to breed until you have 10, so just add about 10 more doors somewhere like here and then wait for them to breed until you have 10 in there and there you have it your iron golem farm is done however you got to be careful you don't want zombies spawning or things like that so make sure it's spawn proof and since zombies can track villagers from so far away you might want to add an extra layer of protection around the edges of this thing so do something like a dirt wall so that they can't break through the doors like so. And then make sure that's spawn proof also. And there you go. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.